Hi guys, and welcome to Motor Planet, where today we're going to be showing you around a 2013 Mercedes E250. This one in particular uh, is the AMG Sportline model. It's a beautifully specced car um, and it is gorgeous looking. So what we're gonna do is show you around the vehicle, talk about a few of the key features, and basically just give you some general insight into what we've got for sale today. So, starting from the front and working our way back, under the bonnet is a 2.1 litre diesel engine producing around 204 brake horsepower and up to 64 miles per gallon, resulting in 130 pounds a year tax bracket, so relatively low. It also has a 360 foot pound of torque, so plenty of punch from underneath the bonnet, but still capable of great miles per gallon. Now, spec wise, uh, on the exterior of the car, we have front and rear parking sensors. We've also got LED daytime running lights. We have the chrome detail in front with the AMG Sport bumper. It's also sat on 17 inch, uh, 18 inch sorry, alloy wheels with the Mercedes Sport brakes. Power folding wing mirrors with LED indicators. It boasts the beautiful red leather interior. LED rear lights, which when illuminated, they look stunning. I have tried to capture that in the pictures, but I don't think it does it justice. Seeing this car in person is just miles better because you get to see the angles of the car, all of the LED lighting, giving it a very modern feel but just lovely paintwork throughout the car. Now, we've done lots of work to this, so we've done an MOT with no advisories whatsoever. We've done a service on the vehicle to ensure everything is A-OK. -okay. We've put it through a full pre-delivery inspection check, and it's gonna come with a three-month nationwide parts and labor warranty, all for our customers' peace of mind, to look after you not just now, but in the long run. So, now I've had a good look around the exterior, we've seen just how clean it is, and we've talked about a couple of the key features. Let's move on to the interior, and show you why the magic happens. So let's get right to it. But first of all, let me just show you under the bonnet and run through them figures once again. So underneath here is a 2.1 litre four cylinder turbocharged engine producing around 204 brake horsepower and up to 360 foot pound of torque. So it is no slouch, plenty of power underneath the bonnet. Uh, it also produces uh, up to 60 miles per gallon. Uh, I think it's 60, 64 miles per gallon, uh, resulting in 130 pounds a year tax bracket. So not a lot at all. It should be relatively cheap to run. Now the boot space, I wanted to show you uh, the boot space with the roof down. Uh, I think it's a more practical way to look at a boot space, worst case scenario if you get where I'm coming from. So as you can see under there, it's very deep back, plenty of space under there, um, but it is blocked by this little division shelf. Now that's when the roof's down, you have to have that down, um, just to allow the roof to have space inside. But when the boot, uh, when the roof is up, i would taken a picture, so do look at the pictures on our website to give you the real depth of the boot. Now, moving on to the interior. As you can see, very, very nice styling. Plenty of ambient lighting throughout the car. We've got the red leather trim in the door cards and the brushed st uh, steel, which looks stunning. Uh, really, really nice. Very modern feel to the door cards and a very sporty feel with it being the AMG line. We've got the Mercedes kick plates, AMG Sport mats. We have the full red leather interior with heated front seats with three different heat settings. They are electrically adjusted. You can also adjust the bolsters as well to make sure you are nice and comfortable with these little buttons here. Uh, there's plenty of detail in these seats. So you actually have the neck scarf as well, which is an optional extra from the factory. If I just pull this seat forward just to show you. We've also got a vent in the back for the passengers alongside these two. When people are in the back, with a flick of a button, these pop up as well. There is also cup holders in the center. The dashboard itself is beautiful. Plenty of chrome detailing. So you've got your automatic lights, even the detailing in the vents, just a very modern feel. This car's got just over 90,000 miles on the clock, which is nothing for these engines. We've got service history and two keys. Multifunction buttons on there for your uh, media controls and your hands free. You've got a nice handy little screen up here, which displays um, satellite navigation. Uh, it's also got, uh, I think this car's got park assist as well. It's also got all of your media options. You can connect your phone up to the car via the USB, which is just down there or you can use the Bluetooth, which is actually integrated into the system. 
A little bit further down with it being a Mercedes, there is definitely a sense of style with this beautiful little clock in the center, coated in chrome. The buttons for your media controls, and again, satellite navigation. Just down here, you've got your buttons for heated seats. So there's three different uh, heat settings on your heated seats. They've also your neck scarf as well. And for the seat, retra uh, seat belt retractors, which pop out just here and basically hand the seat belt to you. You've got the eco mode as well, if you wanted to stick it in eco. We've also got this button down here for eco, sport and manual. This button is, when I said it raises the rear headrests, and this little dongle here is how you adjust the screen. Very nice and easy to use. And then I love this little feature, hidden away are the buttons for your roof to put it down and up and all of your windows down and up. This little button here is just for this flap. It's a bit hard to show you, but there's a little flap just here which lifts up once you hit, uh, I think it's around 70 miles an hour. And the last but not least, your parking sensors. Nice and easy. With this being the automatic model, it does have the gear stick, uh, gear lever on the stock, which I think is brilliant. Nice and easy, flicking up and down into drive and reverse and park is a button on the end, nice and easy. You've also got your flappy paddle, it's a semi-automatic gearbox. So you've got the flappy paddle there. Uh, don't hold me to it, I think it's a seven speed automatic. We've also got the cruise control and speed limiter just down there on a nice handy stock. So plenty, plenty of spec, but just in general, a gorgeous looking car. So. Let's wrap it up. We have the beautiful and highly specced interior. Gorgeous metallic black paintwork, power folding wing mirrors, beautiful alloy wheels, and a brilliant engine up front. It looks absolutely beautiful. And remember everything that the car's gonna come with. So the service, the MOT, the pre-delivery inspection, the warranty. We also have great finance options and extended warranties and delivery options. So do feel free to get in contact for your tailored quotes. I more than likely missed plenty of information on this car, so do feel free to give us a call for any more information or to hit up our website for plenty more pictures and a list of spec. Thanks for watching today, guys. Take care, and I hope this video has been very informative for you.